So a good friend, number 40, um, she usually every week pisses somebody off. Well, this week she's pissed everyone off again. Um, as she usually does, she might just be called Minister for pissing everybody off because she literally pisses everybody off. No matter what she says, she pisses everybody off. Um, I don't know how she's still Minister of Education. Um, so first of all, she put, the reason why the teachers were back to school and they were promised they would be on the vaccine list and to be fifth priority. Um, whatever your side is, for, if you're against vaccines or you're for vaccines or whatever, um, I'm sure people would agree, you know, if you say something, you know, you always stick by it. It's the same. If you, always, if you promise somebody something, you know, you give it to them. And that's, you know, that's just the way I go and that would be what I'd be doing. But normal for it's just, you know, and she does, she's some woman, she just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> no, to be honest, she doesn't care. Um, she does does not give a damn about anybody. Um, she, <laughs> she's going to do her own thing. She's like Margot Thatcher. Um... So yeah, she pissed off all the teachers' unions, she pissed off all the teachers, all the yes and all the principals, all the deputy principals, she's pissed off all the general public, she's pissed off every young person, she's putting the, you know, because again, they could go on strike at any, they probably will go on strike, they might not go back to school, um, my, it probably won't be, they probably won't, I say that's what's going to happen, they probably won't go back, um, and uh, she's probably pissing all the parents, she's pissing all the people off who had special needs children who have been, uh, really have been abandoned, a lot of children... Um, can't go back to school and they're not giving them the resources in 2026. So she's pissed everybody off there. Um, she's literally pissing everybody off. She's pissing the media off even. <laughs> she's pissing off OT because OT doesn't know what to say um, about her. She's just literally pissing everyone off and there's nothing that can be said to save her. Um, because OT can't even save her. And that's just goes to show you. that Because OT usually spins everything for the government. They can't spin it anyway because no more footage is going on. So she spoke with the IST government. She wasn't invited, but then she was invited at the last moment. Because she basically dropped a bombshell on Friday saying, Now you know, fuck you. <laughs> that's more or less what she said. And basically what she said. They top it all off in a few sentences. She said, schools are safe places to be. Um, and she basically said to everybody, fuck you all. And I don't give a damn. Um, you know, <laughs> just, that's basically what she said, and that's just putting it straight. She's just like, fuck you all, you know, it's better to give it to somebody at 80, and then somebody at 20 or 25, and she pissed off everybody again with saying that. Um, and then she was talking about people dying, she's like, they, no, they have more of a chance of dying. And then she, you know, she pissed everybody off, and then she talked nonsense good stuff for about 20 minutes. Um, and that's basically all she said, schools are safe, and then pissed everybody off, and then said, you know, something about 80 year olds, and then give that fuck about... You know, teachers, not your know, FYT, whatever. F, um, talk absolute shite. That's the number for details. Um, didn't nonsensical, really, just nonsensical stuff. Um, she wasn't wearing a pearl necklace, so her pearl necklace is missing. Um, but she talked like she talked utter shite. Um, and like you know, our ministers usually talk, but she's just like. I, 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 my, the mind boggles how she's still as Minister of Education after all the harm she's done over the last few months and she's still there she's still there pissing everybody off um, and she's go, I bet you anybody the schools won't go back um, and it'll be a big strike over that. I'd be happy enough I don't want to go back I couldn't be asked um, because no more for these literally made schools hell like literally you'd be better off in prison at this stage than going to schools because there's that much restrictions and going here and going there and going this way that way the other way Um. It's literally just a concentration camp. <laughs> That's fun to straight. So number 40, pissing everybody off. Thank you.